What's up, fam? Let's see. Went for somebody. Great morning, brother. How you doing today, Brother Kwame? <laughs> uh, yeah, you like the taste. I'm just sending somebody some information about um, they started brewing their own um, kombucha or their own June. Um, using one of the Scobies from from our family of Scobies. Now, um, for those people that are that are that will be in brewing or brew, you want to taste it. You want it to. You want it. How can I put it? It has a very unique taste. You know it's no longer green tea, right? But you don't know quite what it is. Um, some people say it tastes a little bit like uh, uh, great coochie chocolate, great coochie chocolate to you, my brother. Man, um, some say it tastes like uh, a little like light, lightweight apple cider vinegar, apple juice type. You know what I'm saying? But there's it's just a unique taste. So it's kind of um, if you if you like taste, keep it. You know, the Scobies are here to serve us. Right, so let's don't we don't disappoint them by trying to get too much out of them for nothing. You know, it's supposed to it's supposed to taste good. If it ain't tasting good, then you you did something wrong. All right, so uh oh, look at this. I'm up on the thing. I could throw myself a like. I could throw up a comment. So uh oh, look at this. I'm oh shit, I don't want to. I don't want to hear myself. I don't want to hear myself. I just want to comment. I'll stop that. All right, um, we're going to be starting in a second, brother. Just, I want to post this. I just want to comment. I'll stop that. All right, um, we're going to be starting in a second, brother. Just, I want to post this. I just want to comment. I'll stop that. All right, um, we're going to be Oh, my God. Posting up the Goose Saba Challenge. You're gonna hear a little echo. Alright, I'm posting up the Goose Saba Challenge. You're gonna hear a little echo. And I'm also posting up the uh so you can keep up with how I'm doing on this. The link for the fast. So y'all can see I'm doing on the um, 21 day challenge because I'm I'm taking it with, with a fast now. J and J updates. I'm almost I'm almost I almost got it. Ooh, I can't stand here myself and on a loop. There we go. Woo. Oh, now I won't cut off on me. What kind of shit is that? Oh, it cut off on me now. Thank God. 
Alright, um, so, let's get it. Brother Kwame, how is the family reunion going so far? Hope everything is great. Um, everybody else that's been checking it out, I want to appreciate you. Some of y'all been throwing up love because y'all been watching them later. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be, have a different scenery because I will be out of town. Um, right when I, uh, begin, uh, my, uh, my quest with this extended fast and doing everything as far as the English Sub Challenge. Once again, I want to stress I've done it before, but I haven't done it quite like this, right? So I'm doing a straight liquid fast. Of course, I'm going to be drinking the Ambrosia, be taking my bitters, doing the water, sometime hit my coffee, right? But it just it's the day that I start, family, listen to this. This is how the universe works. When you want something, it's always going to be some better. When you want something, there's always going to be a challenge. So the day that I start my, the, the fasting part of what I'm doing, right? You can read about it on the blog. A brother called me into the office and told me he needed me to go to a workshop. And it just so happened that the hotel for where the workshop is going to be is right next door to one of my all-time favorite restaurants. Can you believe it? It was this past weekend. Hence it is, oh, it's over. Okay, all right. Cool. Was it nice? You know, um, let me do this. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Ah. So they brought out the day's Kooji Chagalia. I found my sheet. It is the day of self-determination. We is the modic principle of uh self-determination. It is the modic my fault, the modic principle of justice it is the um 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 yeah. It is the hermetic law of correspondence. Male day is Quabana. This is my day. Female Abana, you know, cause I, I I'm a I, I am a Kooji Chagalia born. I knew it was the reason I had a link to this principle, right? And I know I said we was gonna talk about opening the third eye of the day family, but I gotta push it to the side, cause brother Hot Tim is pissed, right? So I'm gonna go on a tirade. I'm trying not to do it on Facebook right now. We are gonna toast the ancestors. But I got to address how I feel about this whole medical conundrum, right? This whole medicine vote. I got to talk about this and the difference between so-called medicine and healing, right? We know we have the ability to heal. We have been healing for a long time. You know what I'm saying? We have been healing for a long time. It wasn't no doctors when we was trapped on them plantations. You know what I'm saying? We had to get out and get those roots, family. And we used to heal. What the hell happened? Right? Now, we got maintenance medicine. We becoming processed people, synthetic people, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, try, I, I'm, trying, to hold, I'm trying to hold it back. But I'm pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Because you never hear nobody address the fact when they're talking about this whole medical conundrum, right? You never hear nobody talking about prevention, right? You never hear nobody talking about dealing with people before they get sick, right? Providing the proper stuff before they get sick. No, they just put out this sad, this standard American diet, and we eat it, we get sick, then we have to spend our whole goddamn um uh, retirement on medical bills. It's all. It's like it's like you can't win for losing. You know what I'm saying? You work your whole life, and then you spend the end of your life dying. Family is not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like that. You ain't supposed to be going to the doctor when you're older. You know what I'm saying? You know the doctor. Actually, the doctor supposed to be coming to you, and your lifestyle should promote 
a healthy life. This is all I'm trying to get y'all to get with, with Giami family. We got to get a healthy life. You know, do you have you ever heard the legends of some of the ancients who used to just fade away? You know what I'm saying? That wouldn't mean that didn't mean they just disappeared. This mean that they died a good death. You live a good life so that you could die a good death. You don't live a good life and struggle your whole life so that you could die in pain and suffering. I'm sorry. Drink your water, family. Drink your water. Family, we got we all got to die. We all sometimes get sick. But life does not mean that we have to suffer at the end. You don't get to the end zone and and and, and, and pass out and die. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the end zone, there's a celebration. It's ridiculous the shit that they done programmed us with, man. That, and then on top of that, do you know for African, it's culturally inappropriate to fear death? This is some shit that was put into us in the last couple of hundred years. It's inappropriate for us to fear death. It's part of the goddamn cycle. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the cycle. How you gonna feel? How you gonna feel this cycle? You know what I'm saying? You got lions and shit singing about the cycle of life when that's your shit. Walk this and stole Joe's shit and put a song out about it. And and, and got got us thinking it's about some guy. No, that's us. We the cycle of life. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all gonna get mad. I don't give a shit. Because the issue is, man, listen. We are not supposed to die suffering. We are not supposed to die suffering. You know what I'm saying? I I have heard stories of old people, you know what I'm saying, saying their goodbyes to everybody because they know it's time for them to expire. And they go and they lay down and just leave. Ain't no reason you can't do that. We got we worried about the health care bill, right? We worried about the health care bill. But nowhere in this damn bill does it show you how to live a good life. Nowhere does any doctor teach you how to live a good life. They medicate you. They drug you. You know, before my grandfather died, and I swear to you, his medicines that he would have to take in a day would almost fill up this mat. Let me take my bitters and then we're going to get started. I'm sorry. I know y'all gonna be like, but I tell you, you said we gotta take some bitter with the good. That's during life, not at the end of life. It get greater later. It's supposed to get greater later. So this morning, we're doing an experimental brew. Had a 90-year-old cousin just as spry as he wanted to be. Sharp. Yeah, that's what I'm see. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We there's no reason why we got to. I mean, because it's almost like they paint a picture, like dementia. Is where we supposed to go. All time is where we supposed to go. Arthritis is where we supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to get this shit. These are old folk diseases. No, it's not. No, it's not. You go to traditional cultures. You know what I'm saying? Listen, family. Listen. 
you got too much goddamn variety, right? Now, you look at most of the cultures where the people live to be over 100 years old or, or live long, healthy lives, and they're eating almost probably the same things every day. You got all this variety. You know what it is? It's a variety of death. A variety of death. Too many goddamn choices. You know what I'm saying? So you could decide to die by barbecue, bar barbecue potato chips, or barbecue ribs. You could choose to die by uh, um, sweet and sour chili sauce. So you could, you could, you could, you could die with an overabundance of eggs. You could die with all types of bread. We got, we got wheat bread. We got rye bread. We got, you know, um, we got sourdough. We got cheese bread. You know, what I'm you got, you got so many different ways to die in America. You know what I'm saying? We need to limit that shit. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just, I mean, it's, it's, and once again, back to, back to, it's culturally inappropriate. Culturally inappropriate. I know I ain't drink all my water. I know some of y'all count my, count my things. And I don't want this big stuff to drop in here because I, you know, I'm going to be tempted to eat it. Yeah, I'm on my second day. See, and this is the this is the issue with whether it's the barbecue or it's the sour cream because I like that shit too, right? But every now and then we gotta take our breaks, right? Once we start incorporating, in a sense, culturally appropriate behaviors, see, because when I keep saying culturally appropriate, it's survival based, right? It's basically it's basically making sure that you can live. Oh, cool. You killed your 32 ounces. I got... Let me finish mine. Alright, y'all caught me. I'm drinking purified water. It's not spring water. I'm broke. <laughs> I just heard my man, uh, uh, the blind dude, um, the singer, um, not Stevie Wonder, um, Ray Charles. He had a song called I'm Busted. Yeah, I'm busted, fam. I'm I'm on my way out of town. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So mm -mm. But I have some uh, spring water for our toast tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Alright. But everything in moderation, fam. That's it. You know what I'm saying? We all like our shit. We all got our habits, right? But moderation, moderation, you know, because I'm not here to tell everybody you need to be a vegan and shit like that. I'm not I'm not on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on you need to, but can you make it culturally appropriate? Because we've been eating meat since the, we've been eating meat for a long goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? We didn't come over here no motherfucking vegetarians. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? We ain't come over here being no goddamn vegetarian. We, we was, you know what I'm saying? We was eating meat. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and we had people living a long time. And we got relatives that live a long time eating meat. You know what I'm saying? But it's moderation. It's no one want to take breaks. But that's why I'm going to talk about that later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Call it on the creator. By whatever name you choose, call it creator. We call that great force. We call that energy to us and we call it out of us and we share this energy as as with the world we call the creator to assist us in all of our efforts and to move us forward and to move us into wisdom we we toast that creator by whatever name you choose to call that that creator and we say ashe we call on our personal ancestors we lift up our hearts and minds and we remember those Loved ones, those those beautiful souls, right? And some of those challenging souls, right? We 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 think about the ones that we love, and we think sometimes about the ones that used to make us angry, right? And we think about the ones that we miss, right? And we toast them, we toast them, and we lift them up, man. Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? We 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 toast our personal ancestors. We call 
the people upon whose shoulders we stand on right now. We call those ones upon, um, uh, we call those ones who we represent in this moment and in this time. We got to realize that life is bigger than us. And it's about the ones that came before us because they laid the path for us, right? So now we're standing on their shoulders looking at the world, right? And we have to ask our question, am I the best that my family can produce? And if I'm not, how do I get there? Because at this point, at, at the time of your birth, you was the highest point of evolution in your family, fam. You know what I'm saying? And until you have children, you still, out of your line, like your bloodline, until you have children, you are the most advanced model. I ain't got no other word but to use but model, right? So this is my question. How far are you taking it? So we toast those ancestors. We salute them because we are going to make them proud. We're going to do things that they only wish they could did, they could have did. Right, we're gonna make life better for us and our children, right? So that when we ancestors, our children can look at our deeds and say, I'm gonna I'll do that. So if we build a pyramid, our children say, I'm gonna build seven. If we start a corporation, our, our children say, We're gonna make it a billion and a trillion dollar corporation. If we come up with some medical or scientific breakthrough, our children is going to take that to the next level. If we go to the moon, our children saying we're going to the edge of the solar system. And our grandchildren will be going, will be like we're going out of the galaxy. You understand what I'm saying? We build exponentially because that's the type of people we are. So we toast our ancestors and we toast them and we remember them by name. You know what I'm saying? We shout out their name. We call on, um, I'm going to call on mine. So you call on yours, Miles Brown, Miss Ann Robert and Texana Davis, Hunter Brown Sr., Rosalie Till Tilly, Georgia William, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson. See, I got it right, Ma. Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Alvira Brown, um, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown. Gina Gaines, um, um, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash, Wash Ellis Jr. I think it was a junior. I got the axe. I'm going to ask because I'm going to be around my people. I'm going to ask. Um, uh, Jamon Jones, um, Jer Jeremiah Tappan, um, Montague Pittman L. Uh, John Fillard, um, Tony Clark, uh, Pastor Yusuf Weston, um, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, um, Nomo X, Sepet Ma Ra, uh, Geronimo Pratt, uh, Dr. Marianne Williams. some names I'm leaving out but it's a mistake of the head not of the heart so we lift it up and we toast and we say I say from there we move to our children our children's children on to infinity man and it's so good man I was listening to my son's voice yesterday and and, and my heart started beating fast and he was talking to one of his friends they they play uh, Minecraft or something I just was listening to his voice and sometimes I hear his voice it almost chokes me up because it's like, wow, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, you know, it's like every day a part of us die. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, death is part of life. And, and this young little boy I will never see again. It's just like with wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom is a man now. And the, the little boy is, is, is gone. It, the little boy has made his transition. And now... Because because a lot of us don't understand that in order for the man to live, the boy must die. You know what I'm saying? We still keep traits of him. We still keep the boy in our heart. You know what I'm saying? So that we could uh, so that we could have those memories and we could have those joys. But the boy is the fertilizer out of which the man grows. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening to my son giggle and laughing and having fun, and I'm like, man. That little boy's gonna be gone soon. 
You know what I'm saying? So every now and then I just got to hug him and, or kiss him and, 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 and remember who he is. You know what I'm saying? So we toast our children, our children's children onto infinity, family. And we toast them now so that they can toast us later. We build now so that they can remember us. Because hell for Africans is being forgotten. And we don't never want to be forgotten, right? So we lift up our glass and we say, I say, right now we toast this moment. Right? We in this moment. My fault. I jumped past the moment. I'm sorry. So we in this moment. We toast the day. The day is Kuji Chagalia. We lift up our glass. Because in this moment is our power. As the sun comes forth, the shadow must fade. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The, um, you know, because our ancestors laid it out for us. We just got to start breaking the code. We got to look at the, uh, I call it the, uh, the crystallized wisdom that they left us, man. And we just got to start defining the code. It's not hard. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us is making it a lot more difficult than it is. Our ancestors left us how to get free. In the Proverbs, they left us how to get free in the folk tales. It's there. It's simple. All we got to do is put it in action, right? Stop backbiting and shit. It's, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, so we toast this moment because in this moment is our power. And we say, I say, and I toast you. I toast you. I lift you up. I lift my glass to you. I lift my glass to your challenges. I lift my glass to your victory. I ask that our ancestors go in front of you and make the pathway easy. Not totally easy, but easy enough so that you can make it through, but hard enough so that you can grow. Right? Because we got, you know, a lot of us, we don't want to face the rough in life. We don't want to face the sadness in life. We don't want to face the sorrow in life. But family, that's the only way we're going to grow. You know what I'm saying? The tears of our suffering water our greatness, goddammit. Ooh. The dust of our, from the dust of our failures, we build the bricks for the road to success. Ooh, that she I should be rolling off my tongue. Look, so now we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, and 100 years. Hot damn. Woo, man. This experimental? Ooh. God. It's turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger. I think I got a new flavor, fam. Woo. Man, all right. So, um... On today's show, once again, I just to cover. Um, I'm going. I'm about to. I'm about to peace out. But we're going to YouTube. And on YouTube, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about this. 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 This health supposed healthcare system is actually a death care system. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even a health. It's a maintenance system. And these bills that they keep arguing about make no goddamn sense. Nobody is even considering the fact that some of these doctors might be charging too goddamn much, right? Nobody even brought that up. Nobody, nowhere in the bill is there anything about um, maintenance as well as, uh, thank you for sharing, brother. There's not, nowhere about maintenance. There's nowhere about prevention you know what i'm saying there's no benefits for prevention there's no there's no med that is there a part in the medical field and maybe somebody out there know is there a part in the medical field where you got prevention specialists where where rather than you having to go to the doctor this individual may come out to you and help you take care of your health right help you make some good decisions you know what i'm saying Help you learn some. I mean, family, we might need to think about this. This might be another field that we could take over. You know what I'm saying? Because they got all these goddamn doctors. So we could just stop people from going to doctors. Hell, you know, get, get you on your herb regimen. Get you on your exercises. Get you on your proper diet. 
You know what I'm saying? You, 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 I'm just saying. I mean, it, it's needed. Because people are going bankrupt trying to deal with these health, these, these medical bills. With this medical maintenance shit. I'm sorry. All right. Facebook, I'm going to finish my sipping. I got to get ready to get up out of here. Um, so, I'm going to finish sipping. And uh, I'm going to handle my business on YouTube as only I can do it. You know? So, um, I'm out. And I will see y'all in the morning. All right? In the morning. Right. So I say I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years, fam. They have that feel, but you must understand they come from the same practice that will benefit from our sickness. So it really, you know what I'm saying? So it really, you know, so we really need to come up with a health care system for, for our people, man. A real health care system. Where you actually are taking care of your health. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really. You know what I'm saying? Because this is ridiculous. But hey. Um, I wish everybody peace. And I'm out.